For those that have never been here, this is this is a really special church. And I remember when the Lord was commissioning me to start the ministry. I was like, oh, Lord, you got jokes. Um, how many of us know that the devil will keep us from trying to go forth because of our past? Oh, yes. He will make you think you are not adequate, that you are not capable, you are not able, but he's a liar. Amen. Amen. And I remember the Lord telling me specifically that they have no problem getting people to the altar. Can you get that air? Turn it off. Uh, getting them to the altar. But what they got a problem with is retaining them and growing fruit. Okay? So, we got folks filling up churches, getting fat like rats, getting the word every week. Right? But there is no fruit being produced. Where are the miracles, the signs, and the wonders? The Bible said that Jesus said, greater works will you do in my name. When I leave here, he said, tarry ye in Jerusalem. See, a lot of y'all have been tarrying and have not yet gone to the next level of an upper room experience. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. And so many people are lost. And so when the Lord told me to start the ministry, I'm like, I'm kind of like a misfit. I, I say what I want to say and I do what I want to do and I don't have no filter and I don't want perfect for the job. I don't want somebody who's constrained mm. to rules and regulations. Amen. That's religion. That's right. I want you to have a relationship yeah, with me. Amen. When you joke with your friends, I want you to joke with me. When you cry with your friends, I want you to cry with me. When you're happy with Come your on. friends, I want you to be happy with me. Yeah. feel like, well, I don't have to confess everything to this man I don't know in this box that don't know me and I don't right. know you, but I'm going to expose all my business right. and you're going to give me ten Hail Marys and uh, Our Father and send me on my happy way. I went to Catholic school and it was so crazy because I remember I started reading the Bible. How many of us need to understand that you got to stop listening to what other people teach you? Yeah. You need to research. That has been the biggest Amen. Amen. That the Holy Spirit has been placing on my heart. Study, research, study to show yourself approved. Amen. If somebody comes at you, and I've even told my own congregation, if I tell you something and it ain't registering, don't just take it for face value. Right. Challenge me. I don't want you to ever think I'm giving you something that ain't of God. Amen. 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 So. That was a little intro, um, but I'm excited about today's word. I'm excited about what he's been doing in these last few weeks. Uh, our scripture reading is coming out of 1 Thessalonians. We're going to start at chapter 3. We're going to start at chapter 3, verse 11. And then we're going to uh, go into chapter 4. So... 1 Thessalonians chapter 3, 11. And anybody need a Bible, raise your hand. One of the deacons will get you one. You said Thessalonians? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 1 Thessalonians chapter 3. Anybody find it in the church Bible? 820. What is it? 820. 820. 820 in the church Bible. 820 in the church Bible. Praise the Lord. Now the respect of the reading of the word, if you're physically able, rest unto your feet, please. And while you guys are getting your place in the in the word, I'm gonna go before my father. Father God, I ask that the Holy Spirit completely decrease me. Lord, I pray that the Holy Spirit allow me to be your vessel today. Lord, allow me to decrease that you may increase. Father, I ask that the Holy Spirit allow me to dissect these words, that we may digest them, Lord, that when we walk out of here, we produce fruit for your kingdom. Father, allow us to have eyes to see this place, this, this word, this day. Father, allow us to have ears to hear. Allow us to have a heart to receive what this message is teaching us. Father, I pray that you will release 
your Shekinah glory over this house, Lord, that you will allow us to eat fresh manna from your hand today. Father, I call on your name because there is no name above the name of Jesus. And Lord, I thank you. And I give you the glory and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 First Thessalonians chapter 3, starting at verse 11. I read New King James. There is a subtitle, and it says, Prayer for the Church. Now may our God and Father himself and our Lord Jesus Christ direct our way to you. And may the Lord make you increase and abound in love to one another and to all, just as we do to you, so that he may establish your hearts blameless in holiness before our God and Father at the time at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ with all his saints. Chapter 4. And it has a subtitle, Plea for Purity. Amen. Finally then, brethren, we urge and exhort in the Lord Jesus that you should abound more and more, just as you receive from us how you ought to walk and to please God. For you know what commandments we gave you through the Lord Jesus. For this is the will of God, your sanctification, that you should abstain for, from sexual immorality, that each of you should know how to possess his own vessel in sanctification and honor, not in passion of lust, like the Gentiles who do not know God, that no one should take advantage of and defraud his brother in this matter. Because the Lord is the avenger of all such, as we also forewarned you and testified. For God did not call us to uncleanness, but in holiness. Therefore, he who rejects this does not reject man, but God, who has also given us his Holy Spirit. Amen. This is the reading of the word. You may be seated. Right. How many of you know that I am not a man pleaser? Amen. <coughs> At all. Yep. I do not please man. I please God. And I done ticked off a whole lot of folks. Deacons, can we get a, a seat? We didn't we didn't tick we didn't I done ticked off a whole lot of folks. Huh? And I leave the consequences to God. I think it's uh, the Charles Stanley says, "Obey God and leave the consequences." Amen. Huh? Yes. Amen. People of God, stop tripping off of offending somebody. See, the spirit of offense is rampant in the body of Christ. You can't look at somebody at the wrong uh, 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 angle of your eyeball without somebody being offended. I don't understand how we have become such a weak people. How are we so easily offended at anything and everything people do, but yet at the same time, we want to project that we are this, I will hurt you. Yeah. Right? We got this outer, you know, um, example of how rough and tough and hardcore we are, but yet, as soon as somebody says something offensively, you want to break down and melt like butter. Right? The spirit of offense is rampant. See, there, there, there is a thing that is truly happening from church to church where there is a spirit of schism and division. A little leaven in the loaf will ruin the loaf. Huh? And people don't understand that the enemy wants to find the weakest link, get in, and start working on their mind. They don't like you. They don't even want you here. And then all you need is for one person to say something the wrong way and you go running down the street with it. We need to be careful. So Paul, in verse 11, says, Now may our God and Father himself and our Lord Jesus Christ direct our way to you. And may the Lord make you increase and abound in love to one another. 
and to all just as we do to you so that he may establish your hearts blameless in holiness before our God and Father at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ with all his saints. Paul has been given a word from Timothy. We've been in the we've been in Thessalonians for a couple Sundays now. Yeah. And Timothy had a word for Paul that the people of Thessalonia desired to see them. And Timothy is sharing with Paul how much they have grown in their faith and their love since the last time he saw them. And saints, we must always remember that God is love. Amen. And without it, we are like a sounding brass or a clanging cymbal, yes? That's what the scripture says, huh? Right? You, you, you can be holy, roly, highly anointed, prophesy in his name, but you have not love. You have nothing. Amen. And that's why the enemy uses what he uses to take advantage of God's people. Because so many people are relying on self instead of going to God. Instead of trusting God. Instead of understanding God. Instead of learning God's character, they want to just, you know, just, oh, woe is me. I'm so sorry. I'm so sad. Because, you know, people are just so mean to me. Right? But do you not understand that the battle is not against flesh and blood? It's against spiritual powers and beings. Oh, I haven't told you yet. Okay. Right. Good, good point. <laughs> Sorry. I told you I was excited. The title of today's message is Divine Design, Saints. Divine Design. Everybody in here is a divine design by God. Amen. Amen. We have to understand that if we do not have love we are nothing it says though you have the gift of prophecy and understand the mysteries and all knowledge and you have all the faith but not love you're nothing mm -hmm. beloved the enemy wants to use folks to function in this highly anointed and appointed gift but not love God's people. How many people do we understand are trying to put the title prophet? And do you remember that when I began the ministry, the Holy, I told God, I'm not going by that. If people want to realize that that's the gift that I function in, then Lord, they'll figure it out. I'm not saying prophetess Lisa. You know why? Because there's too many prophet liars out there. Amen. So I don't even want, matter of fact, just call me Lisa. And, and my, my team was like, we got to call you something. <laughs> you want to be pastor or you want to be prophetess? Which one do you want to do? I said, neither one. See, because it ain't about the title. It's about walking in the anointing and the calling yeah. that God gave yeah. you. Yeah. It ain't about puffing yourself up. Right? But so many people want to go from the back to the front and don't want to go through the in-between. They don't want to go through the process. Right? So and then you got folks that are coming from the back to the front that got a whole lot of sin attached to them. And now they done got right in a position where the enemy wanted them. And you got leadership that's allowing people to come into the pulpit and into the, to the praise team and over the people of God. And they have not let them sit down for a season to truly identify what exactly God has called them to do. So now you got folks who are functioning out of order. The church is out of order. And God ain't happy about it. Amen. But Satan is flipping cartwheels. Y'all yeah. got to turn that air off. <laughs> flipping cartwheels. Huh? He wants folks to get in and be a vessel 
I want you in the position of a prophet liar so you could speak into somebody. Look, let me tell you something. Everybody in this room can prophesy in the name of God. Amen. He will give you a prophetic revelation. That does not mean that you are a prophet. That's right. That's right. right. Every saint, every Christian, every disciple of God can prophesy. He will wake you up and give you a dream. You'll be driving down the street singing one of your best gospel songs and he'll put a, 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 a word in your belly. Mm. He will give you a revelation Thank about you. a situation. Yeah. And you share it. That doesn't mean that you now are a prophet. Right. So we have to be very careful and quit letting folks lay hands on you. We so quick to run to somebody that I heard they can pray. I heard that they was a prophet. There's a gentleman on the internet, I kid you not, we've been talking about this in Bible study, where he started announcing uh, 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 he was trying to do a prophet school on Facebook. And six months later, he is on uh, in Israel with TBN. Dang. And I'm like, whoa. And the the host of the, the show was so intrigued and it was genuine and my spirit was angered. He was saying, so tell me, do you, do, what, what is it like to hear from God? Uh, does, he, does he talk to you? What does he say? Like, how is it? And his response was, I believe God is talking to me. <laughs> Not sure. You're on national television, over millions of viewers, and you believe, you think you hear it from God. Well, now that we're in Israel, do you have a word for the people? Yeah, he's releasing his spirit over everybody. How many people were here for watch night service? How many things that God gave me for watch night have come to fruition so far? Ooh, about throw a number out there. Four, five, six. How many? Anybody? Majority. And I think it was 10 on the list. You don't play with God's authority. You don't play with his anointing. We got to understand, he said, there will be a small remnant left over. See, the church is going crazy. They are allowing anything and everything in the house of God. They are defiling the house of God. I'm not trying to get in trouble with my father. Right. He ordained me before I even came out my mama's womb. And trust and believe, much is given, much is required. And I had to pay a hell of a price to go through what I'm going through to be able to stand here today before you guys. So when you have to give up everything, I learned not to get close to nothing no more. Because the things that I love would be taken from me. How many of us can grow up without your parents and grow up without uh, 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 friends and you just the oddball, oddball right? You, 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 you just, you never fit in. You were strange, you know? And you didn't understand why. And I would see, I would see visions and I would have dreams and I would touch people and these flashes would come in my head and I'd be like, whoa. I could tell who was a good person and a bad person. And that's how I kept myself out of a lot of trouble when I was in them streets. Amen? We have to understand that God chooses the least of them. Because see, everybody was telling me, you ain't going to be nothing. You're going to be with a whole bunch of baby daddies. Have a whole bunch of babies be on welfare. You might be on somebody's pole. You might be on somebody's drug. You might be alcohol. You are a liar. Don't curse me. And men and women of God, quit cursing your own children. Amen. You speak life over them. Right. If you ain't got nothing to say, shut your trap and don't say a word. Amen. Because too many of us are speaking negatively over our babies. Amen. Oh, you so stupid. You ain't going to do this and you ain't going to be that. Stop it. Amen. Break the cycle. Break the curse. Start speaking life. Oh, you could be anything you want to be. Amen. 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 You are, you are highly favored. You are one of God's chosen. Yeah. Huh? Am I talking to anybody this morning? Yeah. Yeah. How many of us were talked down to? You know why? Because such a time as this. Yeah. The enemy's been trying to break your spirit. He's been trying to let you think, well, if God was really real, why am I going through this? 
If God really loved us, why is there so much famine and war, uh, war and hatred and a uh, uh, killing? That ain't got nothing to do with God. That is man's doing. We got to understand that the things that God is given to the disciples, he is now raising up a new generation of kingdom builders. He is raising up men and women of God who are ready to pick up their cross and follow him. They ain't looking back to see if Pookie coming. They ain't looking back to see if, you know, Tasha going to come with them. Right? Tasha, if you ain't in the car, when I take off, that's deuces. I'll see you later. The enemy wants folks in this highly coveted position because he wants people to be spoken to. If you ever go somewhere and everything that the prophet tells you is good, 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 it's a lie, 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 lie. Huh? Because let me tell you something. The prophet comes to do what? And Can we do that one more time? <laughs> <laughs> what? Exhort, Exhort, edify, and equip. Exhort, edify, and equip. Right? He's going to give you a word. A lot of times when the Holy Spirit gives you a word, it's a word to make sure that you completely understand God is talking to you. Amen. Mm -hmm. And he's telling you, if there's something going on, how many of you have seen me pray for folks and God will bust them out? Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, check this out. What you doing? You need to stop. I don't need to share all your business so everybody can be taking notes. Right. FaceTime, girl, did you hear what happened? <laughs> right? None of that. But when the Lord has a word, and it's a, cru a crucial word, he will let you know, I need you to stop this. I need you to stop doing what you're doing, because I need you to get ready to go to the next level. Amen. Amen. you got to be stripped. How can you heal something that you don't want to take out of you? Like, I don't, I don't know how to explain that. He, he, he tells me they will get the surface stuff off, what everybody can see, but they won't go to the root and pluck that root out. Well, why the root? You got to pluck the root. If you yeah. pull the weed from the top, they just go keep growing back. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. right? Yeah. So, Paul is letting them know that there is an agenda and that there was a lot of people that desired this uh, uh, position. And so Paul earnestly prays that the Lord will increase and abound in love to one another. And Paul couldn't physically be there at that time, but he knew that the prayers of the righteous availeth much. How many of us have sons or daughters or, or family members that we are not able to uh, oversee day-to-day -day situations? But don't you know that when you stand in the gap and you Amen. pray for them, Amen. that those prayers Amen. are being heard Amen. and God is taking care of those Amen. 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 Paul prays to God and, and the Father himself. And he says, uh, 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 I, I need y'all to hear this. The scripture just said he prayed to God, the Father himself, the Lord Jesus Christ. He wasn't praying to St. Peter. He wasn't praying to St. Paul. He wasn't praying to no Archangel Michael or Archangel Gabriel or Mother Mary. There's only one to pray to. God. And it says, through Jesus. It says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 14, 6. The enemy wants to lie to us and to confuse us so we don't see any fruit. He doesn't want you to have any manifestation from your prayers. So he got you with all these diversions and all these, quote, other folks to pray through and to. Huh? But the Bible says to pray directly to 
to the Lord. Amen. I want to remind you from this day forward, pray only to God the Father. And when you pray, Father God, and your prayer ended in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Paul gives an excellent example that no matter what is going on in your life, you must always include the Lord in your decision making. Amen. Has anybody tried that lately? Yeah. You know, you get ready to do something and you stop and you're like, wait a minute, Lord, what, what, what you want me to do? Mm. Lord, how do I go about this? Yeah. Lord, is this the right move? Lord, should I wait or should I go forth? Huh? When you start asking God to intervene with your day-to-day -day operation, you will start to see that God is very eager to help us. Yes. yes. Right? Yes. He is. We just got to get out of the, the mind frame of, well, God is way up there, and I'm way down here, and I'm a nobody, and he really don't care about what I'm going through. That's a lie from the pit of hell. <laughs> Divine design. Huh? Now, I need you guys to also understand to keep the Lord in your daily decision making, but also depend upon God to lead you and to direct you. Stop jumping out the plane without a parachute. Stop going forth and don't even understand if this is what you're supposed to be doing. Mm. See, we be quick to make decisions and then you get that little feeling like, yeah, you shouldn't do that. Ooh. And then as soon as it blow up in your face, you're like, dang, I should have listened. Mm. We did that? We all did that? Or that just me? Yeah. <laughs> huh? And then I always do like this, baby, what we gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> we gonna, we gonna do that. Baby, what are we going to do? I'm glad you recognize that. He got my back, I got his. Amen. But I, I do, though. Baby, what are we going to do? The lady said, I told you. That's the first thing I did when I was told you. I told you. I tried to told you. Yep. But we have to understand, but what I started to do was slow down. Things aren't going to go, if, if, if it's within the plan of God, it's going to be there. Amen. Amen. If it's not for you, it'll, it'll pass you by. Amen. But if it's meant for you, God is going to make sure. He said, I will open up a door no man can shut and shut a door no man can open. Amen. Right? So you have to be decent and in order and learn the characteristics of God for yourself. And wait when he says wait. Move when he says move. Right. Sit when he asks you to sit down. Lay down when he tells you. He got to tell me to go lay down sometime. Go lay down. You're doing too much. Yeah. <laughs> Am I talking to anybody else? Yeah. 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 Oh. Right? Oh yeah, you too. You must I be. Just finally <laughs> We don't stop. We like little machines. <laughs> right? Just go, 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 go. Chapter 4 says, <clears throat> Finally then, brethren, we urge and exhort you, exhort in the Lord Jesus that you should abound more and more, just as you receive from us how you ought to walk and to please God. For you know what commandments we gave you through the Lord Jesus. Right? Paul praying for the hearts of the people. Ask that their hearts would be blameless and holy before the Lord. Saints of God, I need y'all to listen very, very carefully. By divine design, were you created in his image and his likeness? Yes. Amen. From the moment we took our first breath from our mother's womb, Satan has been strategically, strategically trying to figure out a master plan to destroy you. Does anybody agree with that? Amen. Yeah. Yeah. He hates you. 
Satan hates us. And what's really sad to me is even those that dabble in, in, in witchcraft and occultism, they think they're on the devil's team. The devil ain't got no partners. Because mm. <laughs> see, when you take your last breath, you going to hell. You ain't going up to be one of his generals. Right. Because see, you first belong to God. And this is what people don't understand. It, 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 this place we are in right now is a passing place. Mm -hmm. How many of you have felt like you've been here before? Or you've experienced something familiar? And, and, and it just, like, like, I don't know what it is, but I feel like I've been here. Like I've done this. That I've seen these people that I've experienced this. We are spirit beings. And God wants to bring you back home for eternity. I remember my husband sharing with me after the transplant. It took him three, almost three years to share this story. We was happy, we were celebrating his, his heart transplant anniversary, and he said, I gotta tell you something, but you're gonna think I'm crazy. <laughs> and I said, What is it? He said, Baby, you know when they say you go down that long tunnel and your life flash before your eyes? And it's a white light at the end of the tunnel. He said, I seen it. And when I got to the end of the tunnel, he said, I talked to God. Amen. And it took you three years to tell me this. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. In that coma, before the coma that I met you in, same thing. Flash your lights. Come on. Come on, See that? I saw that in 2017. See? Look, y'all, there's a reason. And they all sitting right there. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? You don't know who you sit next to. Amen. You sit next to a miracle. Amen. And that ain't no joke. It's, it's, it's many miracles in this. So that man was not well. And the Lord told us, go pray for him. I remember already had me cracking up. I anointed his head, his hands, and his feet. Father God, we, we speak life back into these lungs, this heart, this body. Uh, he take that tube out. He ain't going to have no problems. He's going to lose his weight. He's going to get up off this bed. He don't want to serve God. He's going to live, and he's going to love you. Amen. I said, okay, let's go. I right, said, that's it. I said, I ain't going to do this. You don't rub me and poof out of the magic. Jesus going to do the rest. Let's go. <laughs> fall out in this church. Did it look phony to you? I don't even touch the people. Because it ain't me being used. It's God. Thank you. 
do you not know that every one of you have that spirit within you? Yeah. Yeah. And the only thing is, is that it's a, it, it's a matter of, will you spend your Saturday night with me? Fellowship. When you got a little, a uh, 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 full week ahead of you, will you actually set aside some time to just pray with me? Will you forego all the weekend activities and just shut in your house and worship me yes. for the entire weekend? Amen. Am I talking to anybody? Yes. 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 When you start to do things like that, you are opening up another door, a supernatural door that allows God's spirit to come into yes. the atmosphere. openly rewards yes. right, right? Amen. so Thanks. this didn't just have my kids used to think I was for three years no TV no radio I would get off of work go straight to my room and get in the Bible <clears throat> mommy you really ain't gonna watch TV mommy you really ain't gonna go mommy you really leave me alone leave me alone I didn't understand it but the but 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 back then the Lord had me in the cave like he did Elijah Hmm. <clears throat> right? He needs to separate some of us. Some of you right now are struggling with, I, I really want to go to this event, but I, I feel like I need to be staying home, but I really want to go hang out with my friends, but I keep feeling like uh, there's something I need to do with God. I, 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 I feel like I got to go with these other folks, but I, I, I just feel so torn because I'm obligated to please these people. Cut it out. Denounce your flesh. Allow God to be God over your life. Because let me tell you what's going to happen. You will, you will start to understand that you have a peace that surpasses all human understanding. You will have a joy in your heart that can't nobody take away. You will have love and you will have happiness. Look, I don't know about y'all, but I ain't trading it for nothing. <laughs> nothing. So, here we go. The enemy has been waiting for an opportunity to destroy you. And he also understands that you have this wonderful opportunity to fellowship with God. For all eternity. And if he can get you and allow you to fall, he thinks he's winning. Mm -hmm. He wants to have you get caught up in the distractions mm -hmm. and the hiccups of life. And those hiccups and distractions were actually designed to destroy you and your relationship with God. That bad marriage, that, 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 that little uh, drinking that got out of hand, that was went from social uh, drinking to uh, I need a drink every weekend to every weekend to every day to I can't not go without a drink, uh, that I like to smoke weed to relax a little to now I can't get out the bed till I puff on a, on a blunt, huh? Uh, I, I, I was just taking the pills because I had a surgery problem and now I'm taking two and three bottles uh, uh, and I'm running out of my pills quicker than what I need. Am I talking to anybody? See, I don't know about y'all, but I've been through some things and I don't like to sugarcoat. I want to make sure that somebody gets ill, somebody gets set free, and somebody gets delivered because the enemy wants to keep you everything forever. So Paul is exhorting them to abound in holiness and abound more and more to please God and not man. Every day we need to do a self inventory and ask yourself, 
Did my actions today glorify God? Or did, they, did I really serve Satan today? Our desire should be to please the Father and to learn the character of God. Not just give me, give me, give me. Huh? Because see, we, that's how we treat God. Give me, Lord. Give me, Lord. Bless me, Lord. I need this, Lord. I need it. Can you give it to me? Can you help me? I want it. Help me out, Lord. I know I deserve it. I've been a good girl. I went to church. I pray. Can you give it to me? Lord, help me. I need some money. I need a car. I need some clothes. I need the cash. I need the crib. I need the checks. Lord, help me. Bless me with that man. Bless. But you gonna hook up with somebody and you still got a spirit of Chucky. <laughs> Jojo, Michael, uh, Aaron, and whoever the heck you was messing with. You have not been purged from them people. Them spirits is still on you. But you want to hook up with somebody else. And he coming with, with Tiffany and Sasha and uh, Sheila and Shay Shay and Moni and huh? Right? And y'all collide. Huh? Y'all collide. Mental illness is rampant. Oh, How many yes. people know that mental illness is spiritual, demonic, Amen. strongholds, Amen. oppression, Amen. and possession? Mm -hmm. Huh? Me and Unique was talking about this yesterday. Uh, 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 we would go to board together. Them demons would run. They look at me and mm -hmm. take off. <laughs> they scared. Mm -hmm. You got to know who you are. The, the enemy wants to destroy us. He doesn't want you to get to the next level. Somebody say next level. Next level. Somebody say divine de uh, design. Divine design. You've been blessed by God to have favor over your life. Amen. So no more of this, Lord, just gimme, 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 or negotiating with him. I'll go to I'll go to church, Lord, if you bless me with that job. I'll serve you, Lord, if you if you let that little honey uh hook up with me. <laughs> well, you'll be surprised what I hear. Lord, can you uh, Pastor, can you please pray for me? Because see it's this guy, it's this girl, and it's this and that. <laughs> Man, you better go somewhere with that boy. <laughs> you, you better go somewhere. <clears throat> when we really think about what we are asking God for. No, for real. Be real with yourself. Who would want to pray for a boyfriend or a girl? I did. I did. <laughs> I prayed for my husband. That's different. So, yeah, but he went my husband then. Right. Lord, send me somebody that's going to be good with these bad-ass kids. <laughs> <laughs> Another fad. It's just another thing, right? 
He is holy. Amen. And, and if anybody has ever been in the presence of God, yes. it will break you down. Yes. 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 It yes. will break yes. you down. Yes. And Amen. when you get touched by His power, yes. you will never, ever, ever regard God the way you did previously. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. And 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 this is this is the house that I hope that this is. That when you come in here, you know that you are coming to be met by the power of God. Amen. Things that you have to can be removed. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to wind this thing up. I'm not going to be too much longer. But I need you to really understand that Satan wants to destroy you. God. Right? He really wants to take you out. I need to remind you of this. God is not a jack-in-the-box. He is not a genie in the bottle. My wish is your command. He is an infinite, sovereign creator of this universe and everything in it. And you need to start acknowledging him as such. I have heard people say, well, God can't do everything. Yes, okay, so there's a lot of sadly misinformed people who don't understand that God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly all that we can ask or think of Him. Amen. And guess what? So can you. I want you to look at your neighbor and say divine design again. I don't know about you, but I know I'm trying to look like my father. Amen. Huh? Am I doing a good job? Yes. As humanly possible, because I want to have all of my daddy's blessings. I don't want some, I want all of them. And he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Amen. Right? Yes. So we need to know that he knows the desires of your heart. And you have to understand that when you are obedient and nobody has to make you do anything, uh, that the Lord sees that. And he will bless you. Because he doesn't want this forced relationship. He wants you to just willingly serve him. Yes. Willingly yes. pray to him. Yes. Not when you're in a position where you're being smashed on and about to go through some things. He wants you to just freely serve him and worship him. Yes. I want to ask, is there one person in here today? That wants to live, to, to truly, truly live your divine designed life. Amen. Amen. The Lord says, we have not because we ask not. Verse 3. For this is the will of God. Your sanctification that you should abstain from sexual immorality. Uh oh. That each of you should know how to possess his own vessel in sanctification and honor, not in passion of lust like the Gentiles who do not know God. Paul is reminding them that this is the will of God, your sanctification. The definition of sanctification means set apart to a sacred purpose free from sin the church was this particular church in Thessalonians was already an example to other churches because they were living the way that God ordained them to live or asked them to live okay and Timothy comes and reports it to Paul and lets them know that they wanted to go even further they wanted to excel even more that this was the will of the people the saints wanted more Amen. I want you to think of this how many of you would believe that by divine design that you would be one of the truly chosen people that are going to usher in the presence of Christ Jesus when he returns to earth. Did y'all just hear what I just said? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
he said he's coming back for a remnant, y'all. Mm -hmm. It ain't going to be no big, gigantic, enormous mega church. No. It's going to be a remnant. It's going to be a small little group of people that are on fire for Jesus. Yes. That are loving Lord, the Lord. And by divine design, this little church, house church, is a huge example to other churches. Near and far. That uh, uh, the Holy Spirit is what rules this house. Yes. That the Holy Spirit teaches us how to follow the unadulterated word. To follow the scriptures chapter by chapter and verse by verse. See, by divine design, the Holy Spirit resides in this house. And by divine design, the power of God fills this place. By divine design, the fire of God falls on this house every Sunday. So we have to understand everybody in here is a divine design. And when you leave this place, you got to remember that the Holy Spirit is using you as a beacon of light. He is using you to be an example to this dark, dying world. I want to let you know I am divine de design. I don't know about you, but I know I am. Can somebody say hallelujah? hallelujah. I want him to use me. I'm not going to allow Satan to use me any longer. I'm not going to allow him to influence me. I'm not going to allow him to break down my holy temple or to defile me with sexual immorality. See, if it weren't for uh, 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 the enemy and this, this, this exploitation of sex, we would be a whole lot closer to God. Amen. We really would. I'm going down somebody's street. Y'all better put your seatbelts on because uh, when I hit that corner, somebody going to fall out the car. <laughs> See, if you ain't married, if you ain't married, you should not be having sex with anybody. Amen, Pastor. I'm getting that blood off of my hands. <laughs> <laughs> if you ain't married, you should not be sexually active. Right. Possess your own vessel in sanctification and honor. Mm, it's quiet. <laughs> they, they listen in, Lord. God says, honor me. And honor yourself. Amen. Not having a passion of lust like the Gentiles who do not know God. Oh, I'm about to go somewhere. We're getting ready to close. I can spend the next few hours huh, giving you examples about the lust of the unbelievers. The, the more disgraceable, the more vile, the more disgusting, the more perverted, the more ugly the sex act, the better they like it. The more I can push the envelope, huh? I, I, now it's going towards the children. Pedophilia is rampant. They're trying to make it normal. What's unnatural? They want to make it natural. We, we want to use these things to mock God. See, while Satan is sitting back and he's laughing, he, and, and, and he's saying, see God, how weak they are, that they can't even control an urge. Because their minds is weak. They don't think for themselves. Let me feel good. That's all I want to do is just feel. Oh, but I crush on the dee dee but I get shit. I just want to feel good. How shameful are we? When Sodom and Gomorrah hit, let me tell you, he destroyed that whole city for the same reasons we experience it now. He said, I gave them over to a reprobated mind. They thought they could do anything and everything. Our young people under the ages of uh, uh, 12 uh, to, to, to 9 to 8, 9, 10, they already know what sex is. Yeah. It's a travesty, y'all. Mm -hmm. Why isn't nobody pleading the blood of, of Jesus over their household? Mm -hmm. Why is nobody covering their babies and their grandchildren? Mm -hmm. Why are we allowing this foolery? Mm -hmm. Everything on TV I see 
see any body parts click, turn that off. I see anything out of order, turn that off. Not in my house. Amen. Amen. Ronald, watch his TV over there. You do whatever you want to do on that side of the house. Over here, nope. <laughs> Saints of God, stop allowing the enemy to manipulate you to thinking, well, I'm just watching it. Mm -hmm. It's entertainment. That entertainment is bringing you down a twisty slope. He said, all you got to do is look with these and lust. Mm -hmm. And you've committed adultery. Mm. Walk not by sight, but by faith. Amen. My last verses. That no one should take advantage of and defraud his brother in this matter. Because the Lord is the avenger of all such. As we for, uh, forewarned you and testified. For God did not call us to uncleanness, but in holiness. Therefore, he who rejects this does not reject man, but God. Who has also given us his Holy Spirit? We cannot walk after the flesh, but we need to walk after the Spirit. Mm -hmm. This should be your ultimate ambition to please God, not man. We will dress up. We will go get a new outfit. We will get our hair done, our nails done. We will go buy some expensive lingerie. We will put on the best smell then, and we will try to be super cute. <laughs> and roll out the bed like this. Good morning, Lord. Good morning, Lord. No more man pleasing in 2020. See this next decade? Is going to be dedicated to pleasing the Father. Yeah. And we need to understand he is calling a remnant. He ain't playing with nobody no more. Because he's separating the wheat from the tears. He's calling his people. He said, my sheep hear my voice. And of that of another he do not hear. Amen. We have to understand that it is the time is now. Amen. We need to know that it is now. And that uh, 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 pleasing the Father means you must understand that others are watching you. When you leave Sovereign Shepherd, are you truly a representative of Christ Jesus at all times? See, you cannot defraud others into thinking you are a woman or a man of God and then living a double standard lifestyle because you cannot do that. It is by divine design that God has given you all the tools necessary to fight yes. through Thank this you, temptation and the enemy's tactics and the enemy's tricks. How many of us understand this is why the church is weak right now? Amen. No one will stand up and be righteous for Jesus. But I came by to let somebody know by divine design, God is not dead and he will not be lost. rejecting me you're rejecting God and whoever is uh, uh has given us uh, who has given the Holy Spirit uh he, he he's given us the Holy Spirit to help us to overcome to grow in our walk and I don't want to miss nothing see Satan wants you to be defiled he wants you to he wants you to blow it he wants you to to, to, to fall short he wants you to stay uh, trapped and, and, and anxiety and bitterness and anger and hold on to all the sins and unforgiveness and, 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 and I came by to tell you to die to flesh today. Huh? I, I came by to let you know that there are many in this place that are secretly desiring to search for God. That there are many of you that want what God has for you yeah. and what is going to be done in the dark hallelujah will be openly rewarded. Amen. Amen. I'm going to close with this. Today is the day that the Lord will take you higher. He will take you closer. And he will take you more intimately than you've ever been before. Thank you. And if you're struggling, you need to ask him, Lord, help me with my unbelief. Yes. See, because today is your last day to struggle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
We're going to have altar. There's one that needs prayer. 